Yo, what's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're gonna do some FA5 stuff. Um, I got some uh, headlights in the mail, LEDs from Oxbeam, which has been like the longest running LED sponsor I've had. <laughs> it's been like since 2016, 2017. I've been running Oxbeams in like most of my cars. Well, all of my cars, even my mom's cars and everything like that. So they sent out some buffs for me and her. So shout out to Oxbeam. We're gonna install those. Um, I might be getting some new stocks today for the FA5 and I guess we'll go for like a little POV drive and stuff of that nature. Just like messing around with the FA5 today, learn, talking more about the process of what I'm doing to it and things of that nature and yeah. So without further ado, roll the intro and let's get to the video. Okay, so this is the inside of my 8th gen. Um, I'm wondering if, not wondering, but I think I'm gonna replace this eventually with some carbon fiber bits. Um, I see that a lot of uh, companies, not a lot, but like, um, nah, a couple companies sell like carbon fiber, uh, these, I don't know, uh, dashboard clip-on things, I don't know, my vocabulary is not, not litty titty right now, but. Cheek City, Cheek City. This also needs to be replaced because, like, this shit is just garbage. I want to replace this with carbon fiber. Um, this shift knob is just clapped. I actually have a spare hybrid racing shift knob that I'm going to install on this car. Uh, right? Yeah, I guess this video, too. And I think I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clutch pedal as well because, it. Can, I mean, I got used to it by now, but I probably want it to catch a little bit more down. I like the... Uh, I just I don't like when my clutch catches high and what I mean by high is when like when you barely tap it in to like engage I want I like when my clutch engages like towards the bottom and I know if you go too much towards the bottom it'll damage um, Your gears and things of that nature pressure plate things like that to get like really messed up and wear, and wear out the clutch and shit like that So I'm not gonna go too low with it. Just adjust it a little bit I'm probably gonna do a clutch bypass too so I can just start the car without uh, having to press the clutch in so I got some things to do today uh, to have fun with the car. First and foremost, let's get these LEDs installed. Um, shouldn't be hard. I've never installed LEDs on the 8th gen before, but it shouldn't be difficult. Um, I still plan on doing the FD2 front end. Everyone keep asking me, yo, Zosh, when are you going to do the FD2 front end? Things of that nature. I'm just waiting to find parts, bro. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's not easy. I thought it'd be pretty easy since like I'm a YouTuber and I was like, oh, well, if I make a, if I stayed in the video that I'm looking for FT2 stuff, maybe companies or maybe somebody will reach out and be like, yo, Zosh, bro, I got a bump rocket ship. Be trying to use my YouTube clout. Mm-mm-mm. That's stupid. But, holy shit. Okay. So with the install of these Oxbeam LEDs, we have a lot of stuff to like remove. The, how am I, am I supposed to remove the headlight or, I don't know. I feel like the headlight might have to come out or something cause like there's no way you can reach back there and fix that, especially on this side. Like what in the world? So what I'm gonna do is watch a YouTube video and then go from there. <laughs> Cause I have no idea how I would even just go about like bro I do want to tuck this battery. I want to put this battery over there uh, DC5 creations sell like a battery relocation kit that moves by the fender Which I think I'm gonna do that because I don't want this in the way I do want to run an aftermarket intake things of that nature. I just want to just make everything nice and neat I do have some half-sport motor mounts on the way for this car as well. So yeah, dog, making progress and just waiting on things to come in and uh yeah so just gotta remove that and apparently it just comes out okay all homeboy said was we just remove this all right y'all don't roast me too much about saying i have to remove um <laughs> I have to remove the bumper and stuff, but now nah, you got two plugs in there. You have your low beam right there, and I think that's your high beam, or I think this is your low beam or high beam. I don't know. Yeah, this is yeah, this is high beam. This is low beam. Yes, sir. Got the aux beams right here, son. H11s. And then I think this is 9005, 9006, which would be what I need. 
So both of them are in this John, and these are my mommies, and these are mine. So let's go install these. All right, I got them removed. That was a pain. I had to use them a pick tool to uh, get it out. Like, see, you see all the dust? Like sand that was coming out of it. Like right there, you probably see the sand. Turn the light. All right, so I got the first plug. The first plug in. We're gonna see if this is a 9005 and six. They're not labeled, unfortunately, but we'll see. Right here. That's a high beam. Okay, so. Your high beam lights are the lights that go here. So these are high beams, the one on the corner is low beam. I mean, you guys gotta figure that out, but I'm special ed sometimes, so. Yeah, so those are high beams. All right. And then, with the high beams. Shout out to Aux Beam, son. I wish I can like bring this down so you guys can see it. So for the passenger side, fly head, clip, take this off. And yeah, take it off. Your hand should be small enough to get it. If not, mm, you might gotta remove this. Uh, two 10 mil bolts, maybe three, and then you can push it off to the side, but it should be solid. Okay, so for the passenger side, it's mad easy. Well, this one came out way easier than the uh, driver side did, but I had to remove this clip so then my this housing would move it should be easy enough to go back in but I don't have to remove it all the way now it's just getting the new uh, LED in there this is kind of stupid though I ain't gonna lie Honda this was stupid as fuck like why would you put this right here <laughs> or like I don't know this shit is just stupid I never have to do this shit Oh shit, I done dropped the LED. Oh lord. And I'm sweating like a slave. All right, it's all done. And it is hot. Damn. The sun. God damn. All right, so we're back outside, son. It was way too hot earlier. It's still hot as hell, but let's get some work done. So what I'm gonna do right now is first vacuum this uh, floor and everything, because this is this is unacceptable. And then from there, we're gonna, um, we already took it off, but that wire right there, um, we're gonna do the uh, clutch bypass so you can start your car without pressing in the clutch. I'll teach you guys how to do it. It's like a uh, one of those little tips and tricks, how to start the car if you didn't have, We'll get there, but let's first vacuum out this car. All right, it's as clean as I'm gonna get it, playboy. Now, let me just remove my camera holder mount thing. All right, so what we're about to do right, oh, I didn't remove it. So what we're about to do right now is basically bypass this. So this switch right here is this, this switch right here is your uh, clutch switch. So whenever your clutch switch goes bad and you can't stop the car, like, oh, what the hell's going on? It's, it's probably because of the switch it. All right, so I found some wire, and then basically, what you do is, you you just put one wire, paperclip method works, paperclip, wire, anything that can jump these two together, and you'll be good, because that's what you're doing. You're basically jumping, oh, I'm gonna have to cut more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut more. This ain't gonna work. God damn it. And that's how you do it. You get a wire, you just U it, and then your car should start without having to press in the clutch. Now I'm gonna get my keys and we'll give it a shot. Got my keys. Now all I gotta do. Hold on, pimp. I did the wrong one. Okay. I messed up, guys. Don't, it's not this. It's this one. <laughs> this is, I'm so stupid. Like, why am I, why do I feel like I'm doing something wrong? So it's the white one above. The white one above is what you want to put this clip into. Jesus. This, all right, camera died. But, um, yeah, it's the yellow one you want to do. Not this one. This goes to the brake switch. 
This is your clutch switch right here up top, the yellow wire. All right, that's in. Now, the car should crank. There we go. And that's all you gotta do. And now your clutch is bypassed. Now, we're going to uh, adjust it. All right, so to adjust the pedal is mad simple. You need a 17 millimeter wrench. This is 11 16th and standard, but same stuff. And it's gonna be hard to see, but basically you wanna clock, you wanna turn, make this nut loose, counterclockwise this nut. I think it's the one on the back. No, it's just for this one. Yeah, make this loose and then counterclockwise it. And then this will, uh, I'll basically show you how you should want it, but you want it like two threads on right here. You guys can't even see it, but you want this nut, like the actual nut right here in front of the yellow stopper to be like, to show like two threads. Once it shows two threads, you'll be straight and then this will basically catch like right here. So. That's what we want to do, playboy. That's what we want to do. Once you break this nut loose, just counterclockwise it until you get to like two threads. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Damn it, I need light. I need light. The lighting is terrible, but you can adjust it to how you would want it. But if you can see, just make sure you have like two uh, threads left when you go from counterclockwise on your brake master or on your brake switch. Once you do that, you should be solid. And it's that simple. Look at that, bro. I'm teaching y'all things that I learned when I was in seventh grade, believe what? I'm just lying. I'm sorry. Keem done farted it through. Did a little, uh, did some measurements and stuff like that. Nothing crazy. Just gonna add this in this vlog and do the official, like, ep next episode once, like, more stuff seriously go down. But yeah, it looks pretty cool to have it in the cooler. Somewhat mocked up. And we put the bumper on, it clears. I have no trimming, anything of that nature. It was pretty cool. I'm gonna show you real quick. Alright. Got space for days. Yes, sir. So, yeah, talking about what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run a regular silicone hose from here and then weld a fitting on here to do a. Uh, uh, a in, yeah, I'm gonna run an A in hose for the top because you see how close it is to the throttle body. So we're gonna run an A in hose there. Regular standard at the bottom. And yeah, slight work, ain't it, King? A little slight work, bruh. Nothing crazy. Hope not. But the most important part, like the coolest part, all I need to run is like a 90 degree coupler. 2.5 inch 90 degree coupler, and that's it. That'll be solid. So next episode, we should have uh, good progress done. And I'll be sure to film everything, but this is just a update on the Integra. Let y'all know what's going on. All right, so hours have passed. I went to the gym, uh, Walmart, uh, whatever. Y'all don't even know about all y'all. Y'all don't even care about me like that. I'm just playing. But Keem came by, uh, mocked up everything, took measurements. So, hey man, hopefully soon we'll have a supercharged K swap Integra hitting the streets in like maybe two weeks tops. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. But uh, other than that, let's show you guys the head, let's show you guys, let me show y'all, y'all, the uh, the aux beam headlights at night. I mean, I'm blocked in, but they nice and they bright. Pretty cool. It's okay. Them Johns bright, bruh. It's all, them bitches bright, bruh. Like, look, dog, it's dark. Dog, these John's bright, bruh. Aux beam the truth. Yes, sir. All right, so it is the next day. I am on my way to Travis's crib so I can meet up with everything. And then we're gonna trade some wheels. I'm gonna go from the 2006 to 2008 uh, SI stocks to the 2009 to 2011 stocks. Cause he has an FG2, I have an FA5, and I feel like these stocks on the FG2 look way better. So he thinks the same thing. So we're gonna trade. Yes, sir. I'm waiting on Travis while talking okay, to this big hand clean, girl. Okay? Let's eat clean. <laughs> what? There go my new stockies. No, no, no. Oh, whoa. So we're going from ashy to classy. Yeah, live and fit, please, boy. LB on crack, bitch. All right, LB is on crack, bro. Mm -hmm. That's a top on Bigham's crack. <laughs> yeah, Travis fast with it. Back at Kiss Walls. 
Bro, you gotta make a garage. Like a shop called Kiss Walls Garage, bro. Your last name way too fire to not use that shit. Sweaty meat garage. Sweaty meat garage. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell wrong with this nigga, bro? But I want to do this Kunta Kinte looking idiot boy, yo. I'm Timon Travis. Ah, it's a beautiful day in South Florida. Trading stocks. He liked the uh, that front end more than he likes the uh, the preface lift more than the face lift. My man's tweaking. I like these stocks. These stocks go hard. These stocks are fire, and I got them. Fire, fire. God, man, you talking yourself? Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Ugh. That's why you gotta hold this camera so you can talk to yourself. All day. Facts, and people be like, "What's wrong with this nigga, man? <laughs> you just be talking to a camera. This nigga weird." It is scientific fact. That FG2s look better with these stocks, and then FA5 look better with these stocks. They both look better with the RSX stocks too. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I need some damn coilovers, bro. The, the waffles do look bro, good. Yeah, look good, the waffles do look good on the sedans. Damn, dog. I got a little. Look at my little scoop boot car. You feel me? That look like a Chinese box of rice. <laughs> 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 Delivery boxes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looked like for real. <laughs> Hey, let me talk about my rice rocket, bruh. It's all right, Akira. That nigga just be hating. You named this shit Akira? Yeah, bruh. Yeah, I named all my car Japanese cars. I had Suki, uh, Suki, Yumi, Nami, Big Body Bertha, Christina. Big Body Bertha? The CRV. Oh. The Big Body. The BRV, bruh. <laughs> yeah, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. Hey, do you know the vibes? Yes or no? I know all the vibes. All right, then why you keep breaking up with me then? You broke up with me. Bro. Yeah, y'all hear that? I broke up with them. I ain't got time for these women, bro. You know what I mean? But I'm on the way back to the crib. You heard? Oh, oh! Regret what? Breaking up with you? Yeah. I don't have regrets. I got family. Yo, Walmart sell these right here. Um, this is how I do my decals, like when I have my uh, name with the race flag. I buy these from Walmart. They're like $1.97, like $2. And I got a whole pack to put new stickers on the Integra and on the 8th gen, so. But all in all, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, I know I was gonna talk about the FA5 and how I compare it to the R6 and is it worth buying an FA5 and things of that nature, but I'm gonna do that for a whole video within itself, so I hope you guys Enjoy that once it comes out. But as of now, I'm gonna close this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope I get a whole other get. Yup. I hope I. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like on the video. If, if you did, if you did not enjoy this video, leave a dislike on the video. Oh, bro, I don't give a fuck. I love each and every single one of y'all. Drink some Arizona green tea with ginseng or something like that. And I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.